today 10 Casio watches you need in your life right now. Let's get into it. Yes, and welcome to the Mad Watch Collector Show. Today, I'm going to tell you the 10 best budget Casios you can buy in 2024 that gets the MWC recommendation. Why? I'll tell you, shall I? Because out of the 70 that I own, I've picked out the 10 best ones I wear the most and recommend to you, okay? <laughs> Uh, all right. Yeah, put him in his place. So if you are looking for an awesome budget Casio, well under a hundred pounds, that's gonna last you a long time, be fully legible and fully reliable, this is the show for you. This 10 is not in any order. However, the last one, well, it's the one I've been wearing the most. Some of these watches are reissues. Some of them are new Casios. Some of them have features you wouldn't believe would be in an under 40, 30 pound watch. I've reviewed and seen a lot of these watches come and go, but these are the best ones. Are you budget Casio ready? Let's go. Okay, so in this 10, I'm going to try and not include some of the obvious ones that everyone else talks about. The F91W, the A158, the A168, which is a fantastic watch, by the way. These are a collection of new and old watches that if you had a 10 watch Casio collection, they'd be phenomenal. Now, the first one is a Casio I never thought I'd love. I just thought it was too big. But the more I've worn it, the more I've loved it. And we are talking about the AE1500, the budget Casio with the most legible screen you can get. If I hold this up like that, can you tell what the time is? How awesome is that screen? For anyone with aging eyes like myself, this watch is gonna be your companion for the rest of your life. At least 10 years anyway. We've got a 10 year battery life. It's 100 meters water resistant and the construction of it, well, it feels like a G-Shock. The bezel hangs over this acrylic crystal which protects it even further and it's a watch design I really do appreciate. We get five alarms, a countdown timer up to 24 hours, a stopwatch up to 24 hours and a dual time. I mean, what more do you want? I'm not sure if I need to keep going with the list, to be fair. But the AE1500, if you haven't got this already, just buy it. Next up is an old favourite of mine. Yes, I go on about this all the time, but I honestly love this watch. It's the W86. It's part of the old team, in the sense that it has a fantastic illuminator backlight. Electroluminescence is being removed from all budget Casios and being replaced with inferior amber LED lights, such as the ones on this WS1400. You see that little backlight in the, in the corner? Rubbish. But with this watch, you get the whole screen light up. Far better, far stronger, and I'm gutted they've changed it. This is the sportier version than the F91W. We got vents in the strap, and it just looks sleeker, like an early 90s model, you know? And for under 20 quid, it's a winner. <laughs> Talking of winners, the W218H is an absolute win. The construction does look like a G-Shock. It has a plastic resin case, not a rubber one. But for anyone that feels like the W86 or the F91 is a little bit too small for their wrist, this is a beefed up version. Very legible screen, sticky out stainless steel pushers that go out diagonally, which is very good ergonomically. Really clear screen. Yes, we do have a poor LED amber backlight, but it is far better than the F91. It's one of those Casios that looks more expensive than it actually is. And that'll be a running theme today. The DW290. Look at him. There's nothing like this watch. Made famous for being on the wrist of Tom Cruise in the first Mission Impossible. Again, this watch has semi looks of a G-Shock. As you can tell from the case, I have worn this so much. Love the big pushers on the sides of the case. All the colors seem to work. It's a budget Casio that's not a G-Shock that can give you 200 meters of water resistance. You can still get them for around 40, 50 pounds. My advice is get one fast. As you know, the last Casio I've acquired is the TRN50, the Casiotron. Yes, a reimagination of the first Casio that was ever released, a stainless steel beauty. It may have been slightly overpriced. Anyway, if you are looking for a budget Casio that has the looks of a Casiotron, my advice is to go with the A171. It's very slender. We've got a stainless steel bracelet. It's a chrome finished resin case, but 
but the design of the screen and face just looks really cool. All your best Casio coloured text, your whites, your reds, your blues and your golds, all in a package that won't cost you more than £20. Um, could you just click that like button please? It really helps the channel. Thank you. The next one, well, how can I do a top 10 Casio watch show without one of these? The CA53W is probably, yeah, it is. It's my favorite Casio of all time. It embodies everything I love and remember in my childhood. Youngsters. This was our smartwatch back in the days. If you could show a girl on the playground how to do maths on your watch, oh, you were, that never happened actually, I was quite a geek. But I felt cool. It's the watch warning back to the future too. And if you wanna get a Casio icon that's only gonna cost you under 30 pounds, just get it. The WS1700 for me is a grower. It's a new budget Casio, or it should be by now. They tend to be quite pricey when they first come out. But like the CA53W, this new release embodies all that we love in Casios of the 80s and 90s, in the sense that it looks far more complicated than it actually is. We do have a moon phase in this watch. We also have an analog clock in the right hand corner. Casio have been very playful with the filters on these screens as well. We have yellows and blues. This thing is built like a G-Shock in the sense that it feels like it could do a job. You know, you could ram it into a wall and it would still be all right. 10 years of battery life, 100 meters of water resistance, stopwatch, countdown timer, five alarms and a dual time. This could be your next favorite watch. Now, during my time scouring the Casio market, I've looked so hard to find a better three-hand Casio budget watch than this one. A watch that looks far more expensive than it is, 20 odd pounds this costs, by the way. It has a day and a date, and is water resistant to 100 meters. This is why the MRW200H has to be on the list. There are many different color variants of this watch. I still prefer the original, this black and white one. Look how legible it is. It's basically a resin diver. The bezel does twist, but it is only friction, but what do you expect for 20 pounds? And you know what? I think I'd rely on this watch more than those Swatch Blanc Bains, eh? A sweet watch you need to own. This next one, I just keep coming back to. It looks like a G-Shock. In some respects, it's, it's built like a G-Shock, and it offers so much more than these new iterations do, you know? This W218 is absolutely insignificant compared to this one. And I'm talking about the TRT-110. This is a Casio watch with a mud resistant construction, meaning that we have rubber resin shrouds so that mud can't get into the movement. That's a bit OTT. Yeah, maybe. Now, whereas most modern Casios you get, if you see a screw, it's usually a resin one that isn't actually a screw at all. It's just there for show. You have proper screws in this watch that keep the strap on and those rubber shrouds. We've got a 10 year battery life. We've got 100 meters water resistance. We have stopwatch, countdown timer, a dual time. And in any feature you are in, this watch will still show you the time. It also does a fantastic feature in the stopwatch mode and gives you five seconds before the stopwatch starts. So we start it, have a listen. At three, it will start beeping. And we're off. Now remember I told you that most modern Casios have that awful amber LED light. Well, even though this does have LED lights, they're ice white. Far more legible than the amber orange ones. The TRT-110 is a watch you need to experience because it's gonna set the bar for your next Casio purchases. Now recently I did a review on comparing three watches that look quite similar, the AE-1200, the AE-1300, and the WS. 1600. All 10 years battery life, all 100 meters of water resistance, but for me the AE1200 aka the Casio Royale still is probably the best Casio you can buy for the money. Now yes it may have more windows than a house, but the features are phenomenal. We've got world time, five alarms, countdown timer, stopwatch. There's a reason why a lot of YouTubers talk about this watch still, because there aren't many better than it. I've got, th I've got three of these now. I actually think this is my favorite one of the three. Again, it evokes a little playfulness, but it's a watch that's gonna be with you through anything.
get it. All those watches are well under the £100 mark, well under £50 mark, most of them. If you want to up the stakes and spend a little bit more money, I'd always suggest going for the first entry level G-Shock, which is the DW5600. But my final watch is a completely stainless steel beauty, came out last year, and I flipping love it. It's the A1100, a watch that maybe is more an old Seiko looking watch than a Casio. You've got all your pushers on the face of the watch, stainless steel with a radial brush to them. I really like that. But the case is so thin. Yes, it's only 30 meters of water resistance and the features are about as much as an F91W, but the substantial weight of it, the articulation of that bracelet you can only get with this watch. If you want a watch that embodies first vintage ones that were stainless steel, but you want to buy it brand new, this is the perfect watch to go for. This A1100 will go with anything you wear and it will quite quickly become one of your favorite Casios you own. So there we go, my 10 favorite budget Casios for 2024. You can buy right now in the description below. Yes, if you use the Amazon affiliate link, I get a little kick but you don't pay any extra. These watches get the MWC approval, just maybe not the wife's. Thank you so much for watching till the end. If you want a bit more of the Mad Watch Collector channel, click there and join. You want some merch? Oh yeah, you do. Click there in the description below. But if I've got you for a few more minutes, I'm sure there's a few Casio shows I've done you'd love. Go on, go on, fill your boots. This one's a good start for you, go on. Click it, come on, click, click, click it.